And a second Watson, one. Watson's in a bad place. Yeah, leveling it, Perez it. and Davenport will pick up. What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here, and welcome to After News. So, like, let's talk about it. Blair Davenport had a huge match tonight to lead off uh, NXT. It was a taped edition of NXT, by the way. Um, I actually, I wasn't spoiled, but this is the only match I was spoiled with was this match here with Blair Davenport and Roxanne. The reason why I was spoiled was because it was the first match on the card. So I had a chance to see, you know, because you got to scroll down for everything else. So, unfortunately, because this is the first match, uh, I, I already knew who was going to win. But uh, the match actually turned out really good, though. It turned out to be a really good match between the two. And they got a lot of time for this match, man. So, kind of felt like a, almost like a pay-per-view style match because... They had so much time. But we already know both of them are really good in the ring, so we knew this was going to be pretty good. But uh, let's get into how it went. Perez rolled up Davenport for a two-count. Davenport reversed the Bulldog into a back suplex. Let's come back for a commercial break, by the way. Perez came back with a monkey flip. Davenport reversed an uppercut and dragged Perez to the rope. Perez reversed a superplex uh, into a crossbody. Perez and Davenport traded a yay boo forearms. Uh, Perez used uh, knife edge shots for momentum. Davenport got a two count after a knockout punch. Davenport avoided Pop Rocks. It, but then that was a key point of the match because if, you know, if she gets that off, that's a lot of times that's going to finish you off. And she ate a crossbody for a two count. Perez gave Davenport overhead clubbing blows and dumped Blair to ringside. Davenport avoided a dive but ate a uh, running uppercut from Perez. Uh, Davenport tossed Perez into the steel steps and gave her a uh, knee strike into the steps. Perez beat the 10 count. Uh, Perez kicked uh, out of a Falcon Arrow. Uh, Blair gave Perez two consecutive uh, Kaya Gomes for uh, the pinfall win. And Blair Davenport beat Roxanne Perez in 12 minutes. That was all she wrote for Roxanne Perez. Uh, very good win for Blair Davenport. Definitely uh, makes her look like a strong heel. Uh, she needed this win more than Roxanne Perez. So, uh, definitely I knew who needed the win. And I'm glad they let the right person win this one. Uh, the only thing that's missing from Blair Davenport right now is just some more promo work uh, from her. That's something that we would definitely like to see a little bit more of. But uh, other than that, man, she's been doing a uh, swell job so far. And, uh, you know, for Roxanne Perez, man, she's been losing. Before I get into both wrestlers going forward, uh, let's go over the poll because I did a poll for this match. Asking y'all who y'all thought was going to win. And to nobody's surprise, I knew a lot of people were going to pick Roxanne Perez. But Blair Davenport still got a respectable 23% against Roxanne Perez at 77%. Almost 700 votes here. 39 likes. Thank y'all for voting in this one. So very interesting poll. Y'all got it wrong. But Blair Davenport, uh, I, think, I think she still got a good turnout for her option on that poll. But, uh, yeah, Roxanne Perez, I like her intensity. I actually like this version of Roxanne Perez, but I don't. I also don't mind the smiley version of her, you know, uh, you know, the, the, the version of it when she, uh, you know, when she had the title and stuff like that. I thought it was a cute look for her. But I do like this intensity that she's had lately, but... I know some people were thinking, like, you know, is she going to turn heel or not? Because she's been kind of acting heelish lately. She's been losing a lot of matches. Is she going to turn? Is she a part of something? Is she a part of something? You know what I mean? It could be. We don't know. And y'all know what I'm hitting towards. Those. I'm not going to talk about it too much in this video. Because uh, I want to see how this actually plays out first before I really expand more energy on it. But uh, with Blair Davenport, the only thing with her is... What's going on with her and Tato Paxi? Now, we haven't seen that in a month now, uh, her aligner since Tato Paxi. But I will say this. The interesting thing about that, and for those of y'all that's watching this video, I think it's still in play, this whole Tato Paxley thing, because um, on Level Up, they actually mentioned um, on Level Up, was go you know, because Blair Davenport had a match against Kalani Drew. And by the way, I did that video, so if y'all want to go and check, uh, my um, recap of that video definitely go and uh, watch that video again where she beat Kalani Jordan on level up they mentioned Tatum Paxley in that video you know what's going on with them so that means it's still in play the fact that they mentioned that on the broadcast 
that means that's still in play. And uh, we're going to have to wait to see uh, where they go with it. But, yeah, that's still in play, y'all. Like, that, that's something that we're just going to have to watch out for in the next coming weeks to see what's next with that. But uh, now that they got this match out of the way with her and Roxanne, let's see if they go into that the next time we see Blair Davenport. I will talk about Tano Paxley later tonight. There's some interesting things I want to talk about with Tano Paxley because she lost a big match against Kalani Jordan, man. So, we'll talk about it there. But give me your thoughts on this. Definitely want to hear from you guys that... I've been talking to uh, about the parking lot mystery attacks. I definitely want to hear from y'all in this video. I'm going ahead and give this video a like, share, subscribe, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. After news, delight.